So, Blake Alexander, who won when we were in Norwalk and didn't go to Denver, currently sits 13. Matt Hagen, who won when we were in Denver, currently sits number nine. Now, to be fair, the number one qualifier is Ron Katz at 396. The number nine qualifier is Matt Hagen at 401. We got all nine cars in there within five hundredths of a second of each other. The Dodge Power Broker, Green Machine, the Sublime wrap on that Hellcat. Out of Tony Stewart Racing and Cruz Pentagon, the Snap On Franchise Car. This is Red Line Oil, Russell's moving. It's the Petrov. Cruz currently sitting in the number 11 spot. The Cruz has been in. He's been in a funk for a couple of weeks now. I mean, and I'm just yeah. telling him it's like it is, folks. No, you can see it down there, too. The body language. JC, Lee, the whole team. Just kind of keep waiting to snap out of it. But the way that car ran, I think, in the final three or four events of last year, Alan, I think a lot of people looked around and thought, all right, Cruz is going to come into the year. Got another year under the belt with JC and the team. They're going to be very difficult for us all season. That has not been the case. Dickie Venable's tuner on the Matt Hagen car, on the other hand, has been exactly the opposite. He has really been a headache for the rest of the funny car category this year. Cruz gets pushed over to the center line. He's off the throttle. Dickie goes 402, or Matt Hagen goes 402 at 321 miles an hour. And we'll wait and see how the rest of the category hangs out. But, I mean, that at least went down a racetrack and that's better than a lot of the teams can say right now cruz's car was right there alongside of him stride for stride till the eighth mile and he started pushing hard to the left took his foot off the gas goes 415 which is still going to be an improvement 